Hi guys, so Stacy Lash was kind enough to send me some tweezers so I can go ahead and try them out and test them for you guys. So I so we will start with this tweezer here. This tweezer is an STL14, a curved tweezer. So this is actually like a 90 degree tweezer, okay? So it's very soft, very manageable, very easy to grip, not heavy at all, not bulky but you can tell that it's very resistant, okay? So I, I like the feel of this. I like that it's small or smaller in here, it has these little indentations, so you know you can have a better grip. So overall, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried gripping a lash yet, but the feel of it feels pretty good, okay? So this is gonna be your, your first tweezer here. And as you guys can see, they come in these really cute uh, packaging so you guys can store them, okay? Um, then second, we have this STL8. It's also a curved tweezer. So I do prefer um, curved tweezers. So I, I like tweezers like this. This is typically what I work with. Um, so this is their ST8, STL8, sorry. And again, really cute packaging. Okay, so this one too is very flexible, very easy to maneuver, um, not heavy at all. So it feels good. I typically don't like too much of a curve like this. Um, so a slightly less curved tweezer would be ideal for me, but I'm still excited to try it, okay? So um, we'll see how it works and how it grips lashes. So another important thing is you guys wanna remember to always keep these things on them, um, these little plastic rubbery things, uh, because the tips are super duper, um, like sensitive so if you drop it it's gonna do this i don't know if you guys can see that but this is bent at the tip i dropped it and once you drop them they're bent and they're gone forever there's nothing you can do okay so always keep the little tip on them if you can keep them in a safe spot like a case like this or um even in the case they come with that would be you know ideal for uh the long term um, use of your tweezers okay so that's the second one then our third one is going to be the stl3 which is an isolation tweezer so this is going to be your straight tweezer okay. so this is a long tweezer as you guys can see but again very flexible very easy to grip now you guys do want to be careful with these because this is like a weapon it's super sharp okay again always keep the plastic part that way you're not poking yourself with it um, when you're removing it or pulling it out of the box. So I'm gonna start with the STL14, so the curved tweezer. So this is a slightly curved tweezer. It is at a 90 degree angle. I'm comparing it to my PLA tweezer. So PLA is actually, um, uh, Paris Lash Academy is, is one of my favorite brands when it comes to tweezers. I've been working with their tweezers for a really long time, even before um, Stacey Lash had tweezers. So I'm pretty used to this brand. It's my go-to brand. I try to buy uh, multiple tweezers from here whenever I can um, because they do range from you know 25 to $30 um uh a tweezer which is a, a a pretty you know fair price um considering that they are very good tweezers um stacy lashes tweezer um tweezers are about 16 17 dollars so it's about half of the prices that you would pay for um your pla tweezers so we're gonna go ahead and test them to see if the quality is the same or you know compare com uh if it can compare to to your pla tweezers okay so um, I'm going to compare it to what I have. I um, I do have this P1 um, from uh, PLA, um, and I'm going to compare it to the STL14 because to me, they have similar uses. Um, I like to use these type of tweezers uh, with this angle on corners, um, especially volume on the inner corners of the lash. Sometimes it's a little hard to get to the very inner corner. So um, I like to use these angled tweezers because I feel like they give me a better grip to get into those areas, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to grip these with, I mean, how to grip your lashes with these tweezers, and I'm going to compare them for you. So I'm going to be using this lash tray that I already have set up here um, so you guys can see. So again, I can use these, these uh, tweezers for classic or for volume or mega volume, okay? 
They're uh, very versatile. So I'm going to start with the PLA tweezer. Okay. And I'm going to uh, make a fan with it. Um, I'm going to use these purple ashes down here. Now these are 0.7. So typically I wouldn't use these many lashes for one fan. But for the sake of showing you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up these many, okay? So, um, okay. Let me zoom in. Okay. So I go ahead and grab it, pull forward, and I'm going to use a um, pinch method for this. So there's my pretty little fan. Okay. So I love these tweezers. I love this grip. Um, only thing is that sometimes when I've been lashing for too long, these bridges kind of hurt my fingers a little bit. Uh, it's nothing too crazy, but it does kind of bug me after a while, especially because I tend to grip them really tight. Okay. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Stacy Lash tweezer. Okay. So I'm the same thing. I'm going to grab from the same color. Uh, again, I am going to grab a lot. And these are 0.7 uh, just for the sake of showing you guys, okay? So again, I come in. I'm going to put the tweezer, I mean, to place the tweezer at about halfway, okay? And then I pull forward. I'm going to uh, use the pinch method for this. And let's see. Okay. All right, so let's try that again. Again, about halfway to your tweezer. Make sure you have a good grip on them, but not enough to where you're gonna bend your lashes, okay? Pick them up. Let's flare them out a little bit. And seal with the adhesive. And Beautiful, okay? So I actually really like these. Um, I would say they are a lot lighter than my PLA tweezers. I'm really used to these, so I don't mind that they're a little heavier, um, but these are a lot lighter. I can I actually have a scale. I could probably weigh them out for you guys um, uh, to, so you guys can tell the difference, okay? Um, so I like this one. Um, this is definitely one I'm gonna keep using, okay? So let's move on from this one. Again, always put your tips back on, okay? All right, next one. Okay, so then now we are gonna be working with um, an STL3, an isolator, okay? So I typically don't work with isolators. I prefer to use two curved um, tweezers when I'm working. Um, it's just a personal preference. I, uh, I used to use these uh, straight ones. I just got used to using two curved ones and I feel like it just works better for me, okay? So I'm gonna um, go ahead and use it with a curved tweezer just so you guys could see how it isolates, okay? So again, your isolator is gonna go on your non-dominant hand, and this is how you, you know, select your lashes. So as you guys can tell already, it's very sharp. It's really good. It seems to be like isolating right on spot when I come in, okay? I don't have to do much. Um, you see, it literally just isolated one hair for me automatically, and I'm, I'm barely even trying, okay? So these are very sharp, they have a really good angle, they feel very uh, flexible. They're